guest lecture event organized by Age Care India. We are indeed privileged to have amongst us an illustrious cardiologist, and you will be soon hearing from him. To start the proceedings, I first request our Vice President, Dr. Gaurav Gupta, to present a bouquet of flowers to our President. and a bouquet to Dr. Chopra for a floral welcome. I invite the Vice President of Age Care India, Mr. Gaurav Gupta, to give his opening remarks. Thank you, Dr. Greval. Very good afternoon. Uh, our Honorable President, President Dr. D.R. Kartikeyan Padamshiri, uh, former Director CBI, uh, very renowned personality of India, our keynote speaker, uh, Chief Guest of today, Dr. H.K. Chopra, distinguished guests. It is indeed an honor to have uh, to chair the session by Dr. Karthikeyan, and it is very going to be very useful session. Uh, grow younger, live younger. Uh, these uh, winter, everybody is uh, needing the advice from the doctors, and we are blessed to have a such renowned doctor with us. And uh, we are thankful to our patient, Dr. Karthikeyan and Dr. Greval, to have such kind of meetings, which is helping and uh, educating the society. Uh, I will not like to speak much, because we are here to listen to Dr. Chopra. So once again, we'd like to welcome Dr. Chopra, and let's have a fruitful session from him. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Gaurav. I'll now request our worthy president, Dr. Karthikeyan Padamshiri Wadi, to kindly give his opening remarks. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Chief Guest, the eminent cardiologist, Dr. Chopra, Mr. Gaurav Gupta, Dr. Greval, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This is on behalf of the Age Care India. We have been having periodical sessions to learn <coughs> from the eminent speakers what is relevant to us to lead a healthy life, a happy life, a peaceful life as we are aging. And also, I am the president of the Foundation for Peace, Harmony, and Good Governance. That way, this must be the 150th episode of that. We have done with eminent persons like Dr. Abdul Kalam, eminent space scientists, judges, lawyers, and people from all walks of life. But today, I just uh, three words of introduction. Why this subject? India has witnessed an alarming rise in the occurrence of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and cancers in the past 25 years. The Lancet and its associate journals have revealed that. Detailed estimates of cardiovascular diseases and the prevalence has gone up in every state of India, all over the world, of course. In 2020, in America, coronary heart disease was the leading cause 41% of the deaths attributable to CBD followed by stroke, 17%. Researchers estimate that over 200 million people worldwide may currently be having COVID conditions and the consequent uh, abnormalities. As more and more cases of unexpected heart attacks and even strokes come to light among healthy, young, and even middle-aged Indians, New survey revealed that both unvaccinated and vaccinated people have been impacted by this new health emergency. Globally, around 110 million men and 80 million people have coronary heart disease. Coronary heart disease kills 
an estimated 9 million people every year. In 2019, it was the world's single biggest killer. Around one in six deaths probably are caused by coronary heart diseases. Kenya, 25-year-old have a heart attack. It was rare for anyone younger than 40 to have a heart attack. But now, one in five heart attack patients are younger than 40 years of age. So here is another troubling fact. Having a heart attack in your 20s or early 30s is becoming more common now. Seemingly healthy people are suddenly gone. What time of the day it happens? They say most heart attacks hit during the early morning hours from 4 to 10 a.m. Who mostly get heart attacks? Men aged 45 and older and women aged 55 and older. That was thought to be, but things are changing now. Mainly because of tobacco use and other wrong lifestyles now. About 51% of citizens said they have one more, one or more individuals in their close network who have experienced heart or brain strokes, blood clots, neurological complications, etc. Now, we have the most eminent personality here with us now to con the subject and also what steps can be taken. Well, ultimately, the destiny will prevail. But what is it possible, whatever possible we can do to delay, to prevent or delay at least. Dr. Chopra is a top clinical and preventive cardiologist with 35 plus experience, years of experience. He specializes in the treatment of all types of heart conditions. He has made meaningful contributions to improve the overall well-being of cardiac patients as a pioneer in clinical and preventive cardiology and echocardiography. He has held eminent positions as various platforms, including being the president of the Indian Academy of Echocardiography and the World Heart Academy. He's a global pioneer in the development of heart wellness program that integrates Indian wisdom and modern science. He has authored books on, on this subject. Any number of books have been published now. Several awards, including Award of Ratan of Clinical Preventive Cardiology and Ecocardiology in the World. World Legend of Cardiology Graph Award. He has written more than 12 books on, on cardiology. Confirmed most prestigious India Book of Records and Asia Book of Records. Icon of the century in clinical cardiology and echocardiography that was awarded by the Union Health Minister. Icon of clinical preventive cardiology and echocardiography that was announced by Bharat Ratna, Dr. Abdul Kalam when he was president. He has published over 1,500 articles on various national and international journals and textbooks. He's vice chairman and trustee, Mulchand Medicity in New Delhi. And both are anything else, he's a close relative and association of the legendary Dr. Deepak Chopra, who has brought alternate system yoga, meditation and systems acceptable to the Western world. Now, it's such a great privilege, Dr. Rao. You have agreed to come to us. I know you can. You can talk on any subject with, with competence, but I request you, what is of concern mostly to the younger elder generation is how to prevent heart attacks, strokes, to the extent possible. Grateful to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dear friends, Dr. D.R. Karthikin, President of Age Care India, and also the founder of I know him for the last many years. In fact, we shared platform on many occasions. That's at Mount Abu, almost for 10 years or 12 years. We are sharing the podium on many occasions, on many topics. And I really enjoyed his uh, approach to humanity. It was very, very interesting. And also, I am really grateful to both Gaurav Gupta, who is the Vice President of the Aged Care, and my very, very close friend, Dr. G.S. Grewal, who is the Secretary of Aged Care. 
I know G.S. Grewal has got a special passion for elderly care because he was the president of Delhi Medical Association. And at that time, he showed his zeal, his desire, his dynamism, his devotion and dedication to take care of the elderly known to him. The reason is very well known to him. <clears throat> and I'm very happy and thrilled to see a very senior colleague of our fraternity, Dr. I.P.S. Kalra, who is almost in 88 and who has been a mentor to many of us, especially to me in Indian Medical Association as well as in cardiology. And I will have with me and Dr. Anil Parikh, who has come all the way from Bombay. And uh, he also is a pres medical president of uh, IPCA. Mr. Chawla, who is here, a very close friend of mine from uh, industry. And many of you, I can name them. But one person is sitting very calmly and coolly from the media. He is Mr. Dhananjay, very popularly known to each and every one of you. And you'll be very happy to know it was Dhananjay who met me day before yesterday in a conference we organized at uh, UCMS. And he told me we should start something like uh, Sehat Ka Satsang. And he also used the word, you should become the Sant of Satsang. So I was very impressed by his idea. He speaks very good Hindi and very thorough knowledge about the English writing. He is an editor and he is here all the way to cover this event to best of his capability. Now the topic given to me is uh, grow younger and live longer, understanding quantum mechanics and enhancing newness in you as the fountain of eternal youth or miracle antidote of aging. It's not easy topic and it's not complex too. The only thing is we need to understand and practice. If you understand, the life is beautiful. I was just speaking to Dr. Kartikeyan. I find you at the best example or embodiment of healthy aging. And you look the same. I'm seeing him for the last 15, 20 years now. He came to the wedding of my children. I can't forget that. He looks the same. And he said, I am growing younger gracefully. And I am just 84. It's amazing. See his cognition. See his intelligence. See his expressions. And the zeal of working. And he was a CBI director. A lot of stress over there. So one should know how to cope with the stress. That's the main agenda here. I think I just give you a brief idea not to frighten you about the physics of quantums, but in a very simple way that you and me are the origin of an electrical point, electrical energy. And this electrical energy, which is the smallest particle of energy or matter, what we call as quantum. And it is this quantum which is responsible for your illness or for your wellness. Choice is purely yours, not doctors. Doctors are there when you fall sick. Here you are talking not to fall sick. And I think it is these electrons or photons which will become entangled. We all become connected. So I am connected to each and every one of you sitting here, standing here. And in fact, if you see, every proton, every neutron, every electron is connected to each other. Even they are separated. Like we are here. If my brother, cousin, brother Deepak Chopra is staying in America, and if he is remembering me, we are connected. Physically, we are not here. But at a quantum level, we are together. So every one of us is connected, what we call as Vasudev Kutumbukam. You might have heard many times in our scriptures, which I am going to relate to you very soon. <clears throat> what is uh, health, I think, is very well known to you. Dr. Tuli is here, I saw him. And uh, very well known to you, state of physical, mental, social, psychological, emotional, and environmental well-being, and not merely the absence of disease, is known to you. 
but that's not the complete definition health is not that when i was a student not a single person has taught me what is spirituality i was zero in spirituality and today if somebody asks me i say i am an accomplished person to know about the spirituality so you can imagine there is no definition of spiritual spirituality but who practice anywhere in any medical college this is very important now if you take mind body medicine the health is an optimal integration of mind body soul and spirit somebody asked me 40 years ago sir do you believe in soul i said i don't believe in soul i am a doctor but today if somebody asked me do you believe in soul i tell them yes of course i am a doctor but see the difference how much is the data available now pretty thorough of data is available the definition from quantum point of view is not complicated it's very simple it says health is an expression of our own perceptions our own thoughts our own interpretations our own experiences and our own choices i would just like to give a opening message of gita bhagavad gita in just 90 seconds 18 chapters and the message is very important it has got a quantum approach we can see here selfless is the only way to progress and prosperity every act can be an act of prayer renounce the ego of individuality and rejoice the bless connect to the higher consciousness daily every day live what you learn never give up on yourself value your blessings all around you and don't count the disguise see divinity all around you at every moment have enough surrender to see the truth as it is absorbs your mind and heart in the supreme lord every day detach from maya and attach to divinity live a life that matches your vision give priority to divinity as a scientist i am telling you today being good is a reward in itself choose the right or the pleasant let's go and let's move to have a union with god i think it's very important to understand this is a little complex slide but i will try to simplify you as is the quantum soup so is the quartz and as is the quartz so is the boson and as is the boson so are the proton neutron and electron and as are the proton neutron and electron so is the dna and as is the dna so are the genes and epigenes and as are the genes and epigenes so is the mitochondria energy and intelligence and as is the intelligence so is the choice as is the choice so is the health of billions of capillaries in you and me dr dr kartikeyan has just told me how to prevent heart attack and stroke which is nothing but a disease of blood vessels so we have 1 billion capillaries like a mesh like a network right from head to the toe we have to maintain the health of it how can we do it not by smoking not by drinking not by eating wrong food at the wrong time at the wrong place in a wrong manner in a wrong way we have to eat the right thing in the right manner and never smoke never fall victim to alcoholism we'll discuss about this later and this is a very very important slide everything originate at the level of quantum everything opens at the level of atoms if you smoke a cigarette you shake up your abdomen and these atoms when shake up they produce different vibrations not here not in the internal cosmos but also in the external cosmos everywhere 
So you have to understand the equilibrium or the balance within you. You are the cause. If you are not keeping a balance inside you, then you will create a turmoil in the whole universe. This is a very, very important statement I'm giving you as a doctor. Now, our health is a hologram of the universe, not difficult to understand. You take one drop of blood, and I know the whole blood sugar of my body. This is known as a hologram. So our health is a hologram of the universe, I just mentioned to you. And the universe is our hologram. There's a very nice expression by Vedas. It says, as is the atom, so is the microcosm. As is the microcosm, so is the macrocosm. As is the universal body, so is the cosmic body. And as is the universal mind, so is the cosmic mind. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ask me, what is healthy aging? What is health? And what is humanity? I must say, they are synonymous, mystically, mythically, etymologically, alchemically, archetypally, bosonically, and even at the level of the quantum soup. A very great scientist, you all might have heard of the scientist, Albert Einstein. Now please listen to these words, are very important. He said, we are not the packages of flesh and bone. Hair, flesh and bone, we are not those packages. We are all the web of information and energy, interwoven with the emotions and intelligence from the eye of consciousness. In other words, what I am trying to say, we are all expression of our consciousness. Without consciousness, we cannot exist. It is consciousness which makes you aware of your existence. No consciousness, no awareness, no existence. A very nice expression by Dudley White Johnson in 1992. Anybody getting a heart problem or a brain problem, heart attack or a brain attack, it is his or her own fault below the age of 80. After 80, it's God's will. I'm sure Dr. Dear Karthike is listening to me. Below 80, if anybody getting a problem of heart, it is his or her own fault. Why it is so, we'll learn over a period of time. And you should know, we are not the body. We are not the mind. We are the one who has the mind and the body. The fundamental should be clear. Once you understand this, the life is very beautiful. Everything in you and me is changing like the flow of the river. Heraclitus was a great physicist who once said, we can't step into the same river twice because the water is flowing all the time. You take any sample of water, it is fresh. The same way, you and me can't step into the same body again. It is all changing. When you entered here, you were a different body. When you go from here, you'll be a different body. I just had a cup of tea, cut see Dr. Karthikeyan, just a few minutes back. I am digesting the tea. I am not aware of it. I am speaking in front of you. A lot of exchange of molecules in my brain. I am not aware of it. Everything is happening in accordance with the law of nature. You have to understand those, what are these laws of nature? What is my main agenda today? My main agenda is to explore heart, mind and consciousness connection. To have a healthy heart and healthy brain so that you don't fall victim to stroke and a premature heart attack. That's the main crux of story. This message was given to me by Dr. D.R. Karthik and just half an hour back. And he told, please focus on this issue because we are seeing a lot of young heart attacks. To discuss the relationship between the CVD, humanity and aging, and paradigm shift from illness to wellness. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has spoken so many times I want India should be a capital of wellness and not a capital of illness. Along with me, Anil Parikh is here and many more doctors are here. We are called as the world capital of diabetes, 
वर्ल्ड कैपिटल ऑफ हार्ट अटैक वर्ल्ड कैपिटल ऑफ ब्रेन अटैक वर्ल्ड कैपिटल ऑफ हार्ट फेलियर दैट मीन्स वर्ल्ड कैपिटल ऑफ इलनेस ओनली सो ही वॉन्टेड आई थिंक अबाउट फिफ्टीन लैक्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट वेलनेस सेंटर्स इन इंडिया so that he want to make this a destination of wellness and it can be possible if we go to kerala i think it's a beautiful place of destination for wellness we must create wellness to integrate heart mind consciousness connection humanity and aging don't get worried about the aging we are all growing you have just seen the embodiment of it we to grow gracefully we are here to go everybody is here to go nobody can be a permanent even lord krishna is gone lord shiva is gone everybody is gone physically but their memories are here we are speaking about them that means i'll tell you what exactly is the mechanical body or quantum body now what is aging i think uh, we should understand this is a very important definition each and every cell in our body has a capability or memory of renewal god has given us a chip to renew yourself every day the time when we lose this memory of renewal we become old wither and die now how to preserve the memory is a question which we'll discuss each cell has a invisible infinite immortal intelligence there is a one cellular organisms amoeba one cellular organisms immortal it never dies we are multicellular why it happens why not a hydra hydra is also immortal lives for a long time you cleave it again new hydras are born but not in human beings why does it happen we'll be discussing we have 60 trillion cells you and me have 60 trillion sex 6 trillion chemical reactions with 60 neuropeptides 6 billion capillaries and 60 miles of blood vessels right here in you and me where the blood is flowing the only difference is some have a high velocity flow some have a low velocity flow some have no flow at all that's the only problem people grow old and die because they see others are growing old and dying they see the newspaper obituary column oh he is gone she is gone now is my turn you should not see all this then people don't grow old they become old when they stop growing if you really want to see the growth mr kardia kartikeyan is here how do you classify aging i think it's another point which we all should know aging can be chronological age biological age psychological age emotional age environmental aging even vascular aging today and also the spiritual aging what is chronological age is from calendar age we count it from measure of number of rotations earth has performed around the sun since we left our mother's womb we call it model of 1950 models of 1951 is a calendar age that is no relevance in life don't bother about it second biological age biological age is very important everybody is concerned like even dr d r kartikeyan is also concerned he is well dressed looks well talks well speaks well how good you look is the biological age not how good you feel how good you look what are biomarkers head you can see hair graying of hairs hair fall or hearing eyesight cataract memory and sleep disorder you don't get proper sleep the way you should face sometimes wrinkles or teeth fall neck very important i see as a cardiologist i see a lot of carotid arteries here and i see hardening of the carotid arteries and deposits of cholesterol edible blockage of vessels heart we see a stiffness of the heart and hypertension lungs are stiff muscles are mass is reduced people are very worried why my muscle mass is reduced that's a part of aging and of course a large prostate and atrophy of the uterus in ovary in women bone in joints very common osteoporosis 
osteoarthritis and metabolism slows down. And many of us become diabetics and have high cholesterol. Bad cholesterol is high, good cholesterol is low. And then we also see a compromised kidney function. Creatine is high and urea is high. Psychological aging, how good you feel. Like dear Karthik and says, I am only 84. So if you feel like that, you are 84, but your feeling is of 24, that's the right feeling. And that is, some feel 60 when they are 40 and vice versa. Forgetfulness, anxiety, aggression, hostility, and imaginations. I am 72, but I never felt 72. My son is here, Parikshit. He keeps on asking me many times that you must take a halt now. No halt. I should keep on working till I am here in this universe. It makes me happy. You should not have a feeling of tiredness or fatigability. Keep on working. Be in karma all the time. Gita says, be in action all the time. Have renunciation in action, but not renunciation of action. It's very simple that you should not be attached to the fruits of what you do. Just keep on doing action. So I believe in that and I continue and I really enjoy it. Emotional age, negative emotions. And then premature aging is very, very important when you are emotionally labile. I see a lot of people who grow up a little bit after 70s or 80s, they become a little cynical or hostile or anxiety or depression due to many stresses they are not able to cope. But if you keep on using your mind, you will have a coping capacity. Stress is a must for us. No stress, no life. But the only problem is we should learn how to cope with the stress. Vascular age is very important. We define in cardiology, vascular age, how the blood vessels are, how the flow is. I won't go to the details, but when they become stiff, we give a vascular age, grades 1, grade 2, grade 3, and grade 4. <clears throat> what are the types of there is environmental aging? We are born, we grow <clears throat> like a flower. And what is the nature of the flower? You all know it. It blossoms <clears throat> and gives fragrance to everybody, selflessly. If we all blossom and work selflessly, you will not grow old. You will grow young. Raman is here. I was seeing Raman somewhere. I don't know. Raman? Yeah, I can see Raman, Deepak Chopra's uh, brother-in-law. I think he's here. I saw him. He is almost in 84, something like that. But a very active guy, all the time working. So, you know, <laughs> spiritual age is ageless, very difficult, timeless, formless, omnipotent, omniscience, dimensionless, here, there, everywhere. It's very simple to understand. All these are ages. Oh, who determines this? It's you. It's not me. It's you. So you have to make yourself understand and aware that I am not growing old, I am growing yes. Now, Dr. Dear Karthikan gave me a very tough question. Talk about CVD and he gave the data. So I won't focus on the data. He's already been told to you. But you should know that WHO projection is that cardiovascular disease, India is the world capital. We can see here the data, India is on the top. That was the correct data given by Dr. Karthikan. We are leading. Please allow heart to click and see the data. I'm showing here right from 1960 to 2023. Angioplasty, stenting, or bypass had not changed the mortality at all. No doubt, this is best technology, best intervention for acute emergency. But long-term mortality is not reduced. If you get angioplasty, you nobody lives beyond 200 years. They die at the same time, 80 or 90 or 70. So it does not change the mortality at all. That means we are missing something. We should introspect what are we missing. To be an Indian itself is a risk factor. Because we are genetically prone, the disease is premature, diffuse, emerging risk factors, higher obesity, pot belly, very, very common. 
So I think we need to focus on those and lifestyle change. And see the data I published first time in Indian Heart Journal in 2006, where I've shown pot belly is the most powerful predictor of premature heart disease. We all should focus on that. And see the data. The data is emerging somewhere in 2023 now. It is a cardio reno metabolic approach. And we say all people who are obese, they have a fat deposition right from the brain to the eye, to the carotid, to the heart, to the liver, what you call fatty liver. Uterus, ovary, prostate, everywhere. So our aim is please cut down the fat. Most of us are suffering from overconsumption malnutrition. We eat too much. Overeating. Undereating will never kill you, ladies and gentlemen. But overeating will. You can see the data. I believe in wellness quotient. Wellness quotient is how? It is by intelligent quotient, equanimity quotient, compassion quotient. It's missing. People don't have any compassion in the families, friends, relations. Then we have genius quotient. And then we have sincerity quotient and attitude quotient. So many cautions, so much of work has been done in the world. How does it happen? It is only by neurohormonal mechanisms. And these mechanisms are, they liberate serotonin, endorphins, dopamines, oxytocin, and control the hyperactivation of the nervous system, RAS and NPS. Dr. Karthikan asked me, what's the matter? Why people are getting heart attack at very young age? Ladies and gentlemen, you should know that the young heart attacks are only because of negative stress. People are moving very fast beyond their limits. Competition, negative competition. A rat race, what we call a simple way. And that produces huge catecholamines, epinephrine, norepinephrine, cortisol, and produce massive heart attack at a young age. This is the data from various uh, journals like Jack or BMJ or Lancet or uh, various journals, depression, 65% of event rate. And work stress, 33%. Acute stress, 27%. And with heart attack, 40% are in depression. So why should we fall victim to heart attack? Anybody in the family falls victim to heart attack, they get depression. We see here a very, very powerful research which was done on DNA because I think a lady was there who introduced me to DR. He, she has got the perfect DNA. So I'll just tell you what exactly the DNA means. The DNA is first discovered in 1869 by Frederick uh, Mischer and Higgs boson, like a God particle. We call it a God, God particle, is a Higgs boson. And then the topmost cardiologist from South Africa who brought the concept of heart, mind, connection to have a healthy heart in 2012, just 11 years ago. So we need to work very hard and practice this. What are these? Quantum mechanical body, I think you all should understand that the quantum mechanical body, we are not the physical body as I just mentioned to you. We have a subtle body and then we have a causal body. The Body, which is physical body, is a matter and energy. And this is a space-time event. While the causal body is a transformation field, which is a mind, intellect, and ego. It is also a space-time event. The only difference is the shelf life of our physical body is 80 or 90 years. But the shelf life of subtle body is longer. And the causal body is what we call a soul and spirit, which is ageless, timeless, dimensionless, spaceless, here, there, everywhere. And at the primordial level, you and me were just vibrations when we were in mother's womb. We were only electrical spot. I just give an example. A lady came to me from Hyderabad and she told me that three times I delivered dead babies, babies, please help me. I am pregnant for the fourth time. So I was emotionally charged. So I was doing an ultrasound myself almost every, because the heart sounds or heart activity appears at 12th week. 
So I did it ninth week, tenth week. I did not find any heart. And I could just see somewhere near eleventh week, the electrical, we see a Doppler test. We see a Doppler signal right there in the heart. And as I saw Doppler signals, her blood pressure went up. So it was the high blood pressure at the time which was killing the baby. So we took care of it. She has two children now. So what I mean is how it appears. It was this research for me, myself. And today she has two babies. She has gone back to Hyderabad and she's doing very well. This is what we call as uh, <clears throat> soul and spirit, how it develops in everybody. We'll discuss with him second time. This is a quantum mechanical body. I just mentioned to you, all the three, we all should know that we are all the expression of causal body. Causal body is nothing but consciousness. What is consciousness? It is that unified field which perceives, which conceives, constructs, and governs the whole cosmos. We have a cosmos within us, and we have a cosmos outside us. You can see here, we call this a thinker of thought, an idea generator, non-local, infinite intelligence. It's a field of silence. It is a field of eternity or divinity. In a complex language to confuse you, I may also call this as a radically ambiguous, ceaselessly flowing quantum soup. This is a book on quantum written by Deepak Chopra, very famous man. And it's a gigantic quantum field, which is receiving the impulses of intelligence, emitting and transmitting all the time. And what is the DNA? I think uh, we all know that we all have DNA, which is an expression of intelligence and reception of intelligence. And it has got a telomere. It is this telomere which determines your physical age. Our aim is to maintain the integrity of these telomeres. So how do we maintain it? We have to understand consciousness is like a cosmic computer. And our mind is a programmer. And the cells are the terminals of the cosmic computer. And the environment is our extended body. And what is the sympathetic mode, which is very important, that we should not have a disharmony with ourselves. Aggression, anger, agitation, arrogance, anxiousness, ego, cynical behavior, competitiveness, jealousy, hatred, grief, vengeance, bigotry, and depression may increase the blood pressure, your heart rate, block the vessels, and oxidize the LDL clotting, and may produce a plaque rupture and a massive heart attack. Now, doc what will doctor do with that? It's you. You have to maintain your mind, control your anger, control your all the negative feelings. Now, how do we do it? Please nurture and remain in a parasympathetic mode. What is a parasympathetic mode? Healthy aging. How is possible? Mindfulness, meditation, exercise regularly, consume fruits, at least three to four servings every day, take plant-based diet, not an animal-based diet. Sometimes, occasionally you can have, but not every time. Nuts, no tobacco, please. Low or no alcohol. Adequate sleep. People don't sleep. They keep on working until 2 o'clock in the night and do get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. This is what happened to Rajiv Srivastava. He died on the treadmill because till 2.30 he was awake with one of our doctors in Apollo Hospital. And 5 o'clock he was on a treadmill and he died on the treadmill. Increased sympathetic activity. So we should know the cause of death. Number one is stress, number two is stress, and number three is stress. This is a very important thing I'm telling you. And that is how the uh, problem starts. And we should always be in a parasympathetic mode, in a calm attitude, in a cool attitude. This is the data from Mount Abu, where uh, dear Kartikeya was also involved, that we see here all the NGO lesions and event rate and anxiety score and depression, everything is reduced if you meditate every day. I am telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I meditate every day. I do chakra meditation. Every day morning for 20 minutes, 20 minutes in the evening. Sometimes in the hospital. So one is here, my secretary, he knows it. We do every day. And that keeps me calm. We are all seeing life and death very closely. 
We are all the time in a war, and we have to keep ourselves calm. So this is the only way it's possible. These are all the echoes. We see the subclinical disease or the clinical disease and see the distant kidney and all the things we see here. This is a very important slide since Anil is here. I want to say that lifestyle optimization, meditation, and medication are superior as compared to beta blockers or AGL2 or RNA or statins or carboxybaltos or ARBs and all those things. What is the aim? Aim is to optimize the level of nervous activity, RAS activity, and NPS activity, which are responsible for diseases. We all have internal pharmacy. When the internal pharmacy is overactive or underactive, we as an allopathic doctor, what we do, we see if it is hyperactive, we reduce the activity by medication. If it is less active, we increase the medicines. That's what we do. That's what our job is. We are trained for the last 45 years to work on this. So much of trillions of dollars are spent to bring out the molecules. And this is the data in most of my books, which I think our uh, Dr. Kartikan was mentioning, which government has recognized. Every book has a reference to quantum. These are 12 textbooks of cardiology, available all over the world. We are from India to the world, so Ministry of Science and Technology has recognized this, and a stamp was released only for this. This is very important. All of us should practice all the eight limbs of yoga on daily basis. Yama, Nema, Asana, Pranayam, Pratyahara, Dhanda, Dhyana, and Samadhi. They are very, very important. These are all the chakras. Chakras means energy zones. We have seven energy zones, right from the sacrum to the perineal region, to the upper part of abdomen, to the heart, to the neck, to the forehead, and to the crown. And there are special mantras. The time is short here. I cannot describe. Otherwise, we can have two hour discussion only on this meditation, which I'm sure we'll do at some point of time with the permission of uh, age care. Then this is about we should be always like wellness and humanity is like a tranquilizer, energizer, stabilizer, equalizer, happinessizer, and equipoiser. It is all within us. On the contrary, Toxic emotions, very common. Toxic behavior, toxic relationship, toxic consumption, and toxic lifestyles may produce heart attack and brain attack. Absolute consciousness means inner calmness. Somebody asked me, uh, Dhananjay is sitting here, he asked me day for yesterday, how do you describe Mr. Modi? It's a political question, very difficult question. So I told he's got a lot of expressions of his soul or consciousness, selflessness, hopefulness, serving people, calmness. So many bullets around you, but you are calm. You are still moving, karmic, all the time working. No selfishness, no self-centeredness, honesty, sincerity, or all the expressions of soul or consciousness. If we have this, we are the richest people and we are going to live at least till the age of 100. So the discussion today is how to live 100. And it's possible, it's not difficult. We can see here, this is what is happening today. We are falling victim to obesity. We take all fast food and become a time bomb, a metabolic syndrome time bomb. This is what is happening today. This is one of my patients from Faridabad. What he was and what he is today just by meditation and mindfulness. His requirement of medicines was nine tablets. Today, zero tablets. So you see this. This is Alice Burton left his purpose. He is doing very well. He's a young guy. He was 32, 33. Today he's 44. With no medication. We can see here, you all know him, Annan Swami. What he was and what he is today. Both by medical intervention as well as by meditation. We see here Mukesh Ammani's son, what he was and what he is today. On one side, we are promoting fast food, obesity epidemic, mushrooming McDonald's. On the other side, we talk of angioplasty, bypass, and stenting. What are we doing? We are in confusion all the time. And see what is happening to our children and grandchildren. And here, see our guy. He is sitting and making the dot a treadmill. 
he doesn't want to do <laughs> because somebody told him his heart is stiff. So he has an opportunity to sit there and make the dog do a treadmill test. See, this is what is happening. Obesity, eating voraciously and not exercising. They don't leave their dogs also. I go to Lodi Garden for the last 40 years every day. I love it. I call the University of Love. You have to see the Lodi Garden. People are serving all the time. I see the dogs which live in the Lodi Garden are healthy. No arthritis, no cataract. All the pet dogs have cataract and arthritis. So this is what is happening. And see here, the guy is tense, eating fast food. This is 20, 30, 25 years ago, when I was very young those days. I took the pictures at that time because I was writing a book on stress and life. And I, <laughs> that's a good compliment. And I see here, I really enjoy. It's my family, my friends, everybody, and I used to meditate there. This was not for shooting. This is a reality, and I really enjoy. If you ask my real joy, my joy is to go to Lodi Garden every day. Not my hospital. That is number two. But first is this. It makes me rejuvenated. So please go to a nice natural environment and nurture yourself with nature. We can see here, life at the end of tunnel. India moves mountain to rescue 41 on day 17. Everybody is living. This is the example of humanity. Sacrifice, saving a life. People are serving. Part two. This is a very important point, part two, because the focus of uh, dear Karthik and was half an hour, try to just change my slides. So this is very important. What is heart we should know. Beating 60 to 70 times per minute. And we can see here, all the time, lungs and heart, they work in synchrony. And I told you, one billion blood vessels, the blood is flowing all the time. Please use it or lose it. Move it or suffer yourself. You have to move your body all the time, every day. Not confined to a chair or confined to a bed while eating or watching a TV and getting everything on the chair. Not good. Please move. And we can see here the structure, I won't go into the details, the valves and the coronary arteries are in millimeters. Right coronary artery, left coronary artery and branches if they get blocked, their life is gone. So you can imagine millimeters of artery, and I am just telling you, please allow blood to flow. It is in your hand. And see the electrical system of the heart, how it beats, how it just uh, goes down, and see the flow, kinetic energy and potential energy. I mentioned to you, we have potential energy means contraction of the heart, and kinetic energy means flow of the blood which is flowing all the time. Risk factors are known to you. Age itself is a risk factor, I agree. As I mentioned, vascular age, after the age of 80, hardness starts. Sex, we can't choose our sex. Whatever God has given us, males are more prone, below the age of 40, 45. But after 45, men and women compete with each other to get a heart attack also. Genetics are very important, but the part is very limited. Less than 2%. Genes. It is mostly acquired. Negative stress, as I mentioned, number one cause. Obesity, high cholesterol, lack of exercise, tobacco, uncontrolled hypertension, diabetes, and alcohol. I think uh, this is already I mentioned. Genes play a very important part. There's no doubt about it. But we can optimize the genes. We can pacify the genes by our lifestyle. If our lifestyle is joined, not good, then we can <coughs> aggravate the genes or sensitize them. Stress is a very important factor. And this is a slide, slide from Mayo Clinic, which has shown 3,000 times diabetes in people who are obese. And heart attacks, 400% times. High blood pressure, 300% times. Premature deaths and gallstones and degenerative arthritis and cancer. See, this is what we are doing today. This is how much we eat. We can see a pot belly, Alcohol and a fast food in the plate. Plate is full. We should not have obesity, pot belly. Not more than 90 centimeters in men or more than 80 centimeters in women. If it is more than 90 centimeters, we are obese. Apple-shaped or pear-shaped, 
all are subjected to any kind of uh, abnormalities. And we see here, person is sitting over the chair, over the television, doesn't want to move out. Sometimes they don't go even to a laundry. They are sitting in the car and call the laundry man, please pick up the clothes. See this, what is happening? And the cholesterol deposits in the blood vessels. See the guy sitting in the car. He doesn't want to come out. See this, he doesn't want to come out of the car. Adnan Sami, I remember once he came to Mount Abu, dear, uh, but we knowing it, he was not able to get out of the car. I can't forget that. So difficult. Who created this? You created yourself. Tobacco smoking, today you smoke cigarette, tomorrow cigarette will smoke you. Today if you chew tobacco, tomorrow tobacco will chew us. Quality lifestyle, fast food is the worst. I think we should avoid fast food. Once in a while is okay. Not samosa all the time, pakoda all the time and all that stuff. High blood pressure, please check your blood pressure every day, especially in winter. In winter, there is a seasonal rise of blood pressure. Everybody should check his or her blood pressure in the morning. What we call is a home BP monitoring. And no alcohol, please. Alcohol is detrimental to health. I have gone through almost 17 crore abstracts just to find, can we prescribe alcohol in our prescription? I cannot. So by all societies it is mentioned, you can't prescribe alcohol, but people still take alcohol. A animal like dog smells, it is a tobacco plant, won't go close to the plant. Here the human beings know, we say tobacco is a poison, still we smoke and chew tobacco. Knowing it, it's cancerous, and we produce a heart attack. Evolution of heart function, everybody should know the blood pressure after the age of 20. Hypertension, number one killer. Before coming here, my daughter-in-law just called that there's a patient in Gangaram Hospital who had a brain hemorrhage. They wanted to operate. Cause, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is like a global tsunami. We need to take care of our blood pressure. Doctors can't take care of everything. You go to doctors when you go to the end stage. It's too late. We all have to know that blood pressure check is our own, uh, should be our own practice, our own habit. These are all the blood testing which we do. I will recommend each and every one of you after 20. Everybody here is after 20. At least once in a year, please get your checkup. If you are beyond 55 or 60, once in six months. I also go for checkups every six months. We spend money, 8, 10,000 rupees, but at least we save our life. We should do it. Go to any doctor in your vicinity to whomsoever you know. ECD is very important. Treadmill if required, we should do it. Echo if required, we should do it. And this is very important. We do stress thalium in those people where we have some doubt of some perfusion deficit because the blood is flowing and we can't do FFR in every patient. It's a fractional uh, flow reserve which we see. So we do a thalium test. And a coronary angiogram, people do CT angiogram to know the calcium scoring. And we can see the calcium scoring, holter, and see whether he or she needs a pacemaker or not. What is a heart attack? All of you should know. My first book, which was a hit book all over the world, it was STEMI. STEMI is a heart attack. So this was a technical book, which was hit in the market from India to the world. Heart attack is very common in Indians. See the vessel, we can see a cholesterol deposits there, and it is a cholesterol deposits where the clot is formed, and clot produces a heart attack. So we lost a mission, attack, heart attack. And we all should know if we get chest pain, heaviness in chest, as if there is an elephant sitting on my chest, or unexplained sweating, or a dizzy spell, or dyspnea, please do not go to a chemist shop. And don't take Dijin, don't take Ajwain, and don't wake up your spouse that I've got indigestion please consult a top specialist close to you, your residence. This is very, very important. There has to have an awareness on attack, heart attack by you. Doctors will come only at the end. Doctors can't reach there. How to attack heart attack is a very important. Urgent ECG, pre-hospital, before hospital. All of you should have aspirin tablet at home and you should have Brilenda. Brilenda is a tacagrelol tablet this is, uh, <clears throat> you should take one tablet, statins, like we prescribe atorvastatin 
40 milligrams or 80 milligrams, and we give clot buster in the form of IV telectiplase. Ambulance to the hospital, don't go to anybody else other than a heart hospital. Take the help of physicians, take the help of general practitioners. They are no easily. But to save time, take the help and go and call the number, whatever number we have, emergency number, and do ambulance comes, we do a trop eye, echo, and we do an angiography, and then require, we do first of all thrombolytic therapy, what we call as a clot buster injection, and then subject to everybody between three hours to 24 hours for angiography and angioplasty if required. How to prevent heart attack, I think is very important, as I already mentioned to you, that you should be very clear, optimization of mind, body, and consciousness is the need of the hour, meditation, a new mantra for healthy heart with spirituality, yoga, and meditation. I wrote a half page in Times of India, consciousness-based approach on healthy heart. Enliven your heart by energy meditation. So energy meditation I do is chakra meditation. This is what we do here. And energize all the chakras by enhancing mind and heart connection. And I, this is the slide which my son has given. Never be Dukhiram, helpless, hopeless, and worthless. Dukhiram. Don't fall victim to become Dukhiram. Always believe in Sukhiram. How about Sukhiram? Full of opportunities, full of optimism, and always be contented and confident. As there are two slides, he's working for a corporate, so he knows how to convince them between Dukhiram and Sukhiram. And two Maha Mantras, also I got from him only. He said, KFP versus BFP. Respond but do not react. Pehle tolo, fir bolo. KFP means kya fark padta hai. And BFP means bohat fark padta hai. Very simple. It's all at the back of our mind. Happiness, where, whenever you go. Some people, they give happiness whenever they go. Some people give happiness wherever they go. This is Swami Charmayananda. And the past is history. Future is a mystery we don't know. Please live in present and do whatever you want to do in the present. That will be the outcome for the future. Your attitude is your altitude. Bhagavad Gita says wisdom is what you are and not what you have. Don't bother about Mercedes, big bungalow and farmhouse. Most of us are busy, busy and busy in earning money and losing health. And then we are busy, busy, and busy in losing that money and trying to earn health. It's gone. I was sitting in a rotary meeting, and people were asking, who has got the biggest farmhouse? So I raised my hands. So they told me, really? You're so rich. You are, I thought you are a middle-class doctor. So I told them, I'm a middle-class doctor, but my farmhouse is biggest. 22 acres, Lodi Garden. Free of cost. Everything is free. It's because I go every day. There are people who own the garden. They own the farmhouse, but they go once in a year. It is the caretakers who enjoy life there. So see the concept. See the concept. Do the best and leave the rest. Exercise every day, at least for 30 minutes a day. And never try to become materialistic rich. Sikandar said, when I die, please don't cover my hands. They should be like this. People should know I've taken nothing with me. And when he dies in front of my procession, keep all my wealth. People can pick it up. So I think the wealth is health. Mahatma Gandhi said, health is not in the pieces of gold. Mahatma Gandhi also said, health is not in pieces of silver and piles of notes. It is all in your hand. So that's what we are discussing in last so much of time. Fitness, 30 minutes of walk, walking, jogging, cycling, swimming, dancing, all should do. So very important, see, breathe. Of course, the air is very bad these days. So avoid going for a morning walk these days, but go when the sunlight. In the lap of Mother Nature, please go to Mother Nature every day. If you don't go to the environment, I don't think we'll remain healthy. Too busy, as I mentioned to you, we are too busy to exercise. This is our myth, this myth to change. A healthy mind, a healthy body, exercise various patterns, 
You pick and choose what you want and what suits you. See this, this is the Indian map. And I was seeing some people are eating samosas, some are eating uh, pohas, some are eating... I don't know who created all this. And there is no nourishment. So I think all these things need to change. This is a state-wise food map of India. Omega-3 is zero. 99% no omega-3. Omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. Very, very powerful to reduce. We are very fond of this. Samosas, pakoras, halwas and all that things. This is very important. I told you about the abdominal girth. Please keep in mind, consume more fruits, vegetables and nuts. And uh, don't go to the sweet meat shop all the time. Sometimes it's okay. Because once you eat too much of sweet, then I should not say any company's name. Then we become like that only. Okay, <laughs> That's very important to understand. Fruits, <coughs> vegetables we should consume. Pistachio, walnut, almond, very good for heart. Laughter therapy. Please laugh. A baby laughs 400 times a day for no reason. But an adult, not even four times a day. Laughter is equalizer, energizer, stabilizer, equipoiser, and happinessizer. Please laugh. See here, sometimes you should be in dancing mode for no reason. Dancing is very good for health. Very important, music therapy. <clears throat> Dhananjay is here. I wrote a chapter, a section in the Times of India on conch blowing. Conch blowing is very important. Exercise, breathing exercise, good for life, lungs. Full chapter I wrote as to what the conch is, the history is, and how the blowing helps the heart and lung health. And we can see here, this is my very pet. I go to a spa three times a week, sir, Dr. Uh, Dr. Kartikian. The secret of my health at the age of 72 and healthy mind, with whatever little bit I have, is only spa. Because the spa makes my blood vessels open. The recommend I go to Kerala Spa, I have in Kalkaji where I stay, just behind my house, three times a week, one hour every time, it's excellent. It's like feeling of you're in heaven. Please do it wherever you're staying close to your house. And you must go. This is, a real, this is what our Prime Minister was motivated, that Kerala is going to be a heaven future, of heaven of God, because they have all these practices there, so we should do it. To conclude, ladies and gentlemen, aging is preventable, regressible, and reversible. Statement. After working for 45 years in allopathic medicine, I'm saying today, death is not because of aging. It is because of disease. Aging will never kill you. Please take these words. I'm a very active practitioner in cardiology. Mindfulness, meditation, and medication, 3M, is the need of the hour. And one very tough statement, I hope Dharanjay is listening to me, meditation is thousand times superior to medication, as the allopathic doctor I'm saying. If you meditate, you may not need medicines. But you have to start right from the youth, not when you have angioplasty or bypass surgery, then you go for a morning walk, and then you start meditating, it's too late. Act vocally, locally, focally, and globally. Inform, perform, reform, and transform the whole world with healthy aging and wellness. This should be the dictum today. And I'm sure age care will take note of it. Uh, G.S. Garewal is here. I'm sure he's listening. And this should become a pledge on behalf of age care of India that we will take the pledge to change the whole world. Never believe putting yourself in a cage of a big car, big bungalow, and big money. Always feel free. Vasudev Kutumbakam, that should be our idea. Aham Brahmasmi, as I mentioned to you, energy zones, which is in you, not in somebody else. Tattva Masi means you are that, I am that, he is that, she is that, that is what it is. We have to understand everything is in our hands. We are not many hospitals in the olden days. People were surviving. They were living. So I think we need to do that. This is a very important statement before coming here. I just wrote half an hour back, sitting in the hospital. And that is, the thought that I think, 
the words that I speak, the morsel of food that I eat, the water that I drink, the air that I breathe, the emotions that I experience, the sleep that I have, the stress that I face, the cigarette that I smoke, the alcohol that I drink, and the temper that I lose get metabolized by 60 trillion cells and 6 trillion chemical reactions and become you and me. So it's all your choice. I saw the other day a television where showing dark lungs versus pink lungs. Choice is yours. Of course, here we can't eliminate, but don't stop, totally stop smoking. If you really want to be healthy, that's in our hands. These days, a new entity now, high, this is your uh, human intelligence versus artificial intelligence. If you ask my personal opinion, though I am a practitioner of technology, I believe ethical issues and lack of compassion is in artificial intelligence. Because artificial intelligence is also created by human intelligence only. It is just other advantages are there. <clears throat> Create, be creative with a healthy heart, world will follow you. This is a very important statement. Healthy aging and humanity, a cosmic continuum, the only way to heart wellness, happiness and nirvana. It is in your hands, not the doctor's hands. So it's all in your hands. And I'm sure we quote many times our former <coughs> Bharat Ratna President of India, healthy aging, humanity and healthy heart and duty. If you salute your duty, you need not salute anybody. But if you pollute your duty, you have to salute everybody every time. Swami Vivekananda said, we are what we eat and we are what we think. Both are expressions of nutrition, lifestyle optimization and divinity. No medication, sir. Very important statement. Wisdom is what we are and not what we have. I think this is a very important slide to show and live in newness in you. Right from mother's womb, you start neck holding, then start sitting, standing, walking, going to a nursery, pre-nursery or nursery school, then going to college, working, then having a stick in the old age, and that is on the wheelchair. We all have to go through this cycle. But go it timely, not prematurely. It is all in our hands. Golden tips for growing younger and living longer. Exercise regularly for 30 minutes every day. Please manage your stress. Perfect sleep for six to eight hours, everyone. Even if you take some medication by the doctor's supervision, please take some medication, but go to sleep. Adequate hydration, two liters of water every day. Eat plant-based diet. Practice meditation. Uh, 20 minutes morning and evening. Dr. Kalra is listening to me. He gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning. All eight limbs of yoga to be practiced, as I mentioned to you. No smoking. Have daily routine. Don't be lousy in the old age. Getting up at 10 o'clock, not eating, wrong things. You must have perfect. I get up every day at 4 o'clock. And I'm in the hospital at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it keeps you fit. You know, that's very important. Enhance perfect relationship. Take vitamins, minerals. I take six vitamins every day. Vitamin C, vitamin D, multivitamin, lycopene, every day. Why not? I'm a doctor. I have to take it. So I'm explaining to you, please start taking it. They are necessary for us because we become deficient as we advance in age. This is the oldest individual in India and the world, US-born Spanish woman who creates world record at uh, 115. Then we have Indonesian woman at 157. Healthy age and healthy brain is possible if you understand the tiniest molecule quantum, which is spaceless and dimensionless. If you work from consciousness, we are going to be very healthy. Bharat ke sabse zyada jine wale insaan. Number 5. Swami Shivnand, Bharat ke 125 saal ke buzurg, jinhe abhi hal hi mein Padam Shri award diya gaya tha. इनका नाम स्वामी शिवनंद है और उनका जन्म 8 अगस्त 1879 को हुआ था जैसा कि आप उनके आधार कार्ड में देख सकते हैं और ऐसा आधार कार्ड भी आपको शायद ही कभी देखने को मिले 
न्यूज में आए तो लोगों ने पता करने की कोशिश की कि आखिर इनकी जीने का राज क्या है जो कि अभी 125 साल के हैं और पूरी तरह से हेल्दी है तब उन्होंने बताया कि उनके डेली रूटीन की वजह से जी रहे हैं और डेली एक से दो घंटे योग करते हैं वह खाने में ज्यादा मसाले वगैरह भी नहीं खाते नंबर चार तपस्वी जी महाराज इनका जन्म सत्रह में हुआ था और मृत्यु अठारह में हुई थी यह एक सालों तक जीवित रहे थे पटियाला के राजकुमार के रूप में जन्मे जहां इनका जन्म हुआ वो किसी राजशाही महलों से कम नहीं था इनके लंबे समय तक जीवित रहने का रहस्य है कि उन्होंने दशकों तक कठोर तपस्या की और अपनी जवानी वापस पाने के लिए प्राचीन वैदिक तकनीक का उपयोग करते हुए कायाकल्प उपचार का तीन बार इस्तेमाल किया ये बहुत कठिन तपस्या होती है कायाकल्प उपचार एक प्राचीन वैदिक तकनीक है जो शरीर को जवान और स्वस्थ रखने के लिए इस्तेमाल की जाती है नंबर तीन देवराहा बाबा देवराहा बाबा इंडिया के उत्तर प्रदेश से थे इनका जन्म 1740 में हुआ था और मृत्यु 1990 में हुई थी यह कुल 250 सालों तक जीवित रहे थे और इन्होंने बहुत अलौकिक सिद्धियां प्राप्त करी थी कहा जाता है कि ये बाबा बहुत चमत्कारी थे इनका आशीर्वाद लेने बहुत बड़े लोग आते थे देश के पहले प्रधानमंत्री जवाहरलाल नेहरू राजीव गांधी से लेकर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी भी आ चुके हैं नंबर दो महाष्टा मुरासी यह शख्स पिछले एक सौ इक्यासी साल से जीवित है और जो अभी भी अपनी मौत का इंतजार कर रहे हैं उत्तर प्रदेश के वाराणसी के रहने वाले महाष्टा मुरासी अपने बारे में बताते हुए कहते हैं कि उन्हें लगता है कि मौत उनके घर का रास्ता भूल गई है मुरासी अपने बारे में बताते हैं कि उनका जन्म अठारह में बेंगलुरु में हुआ था उन्नीस में मुरासी बेंगलुरु से वाराणसी रहने के लिए आ गए तब से आज तक वह वाराणसी में ही रह रहे हैं नंबर एक श्री शिव प्रभाकर एक ऐसे बाबा के बारे में बताने वाले हैं जो 200 या 300 साल नहीं बल्कि 723 साल तक जीवित रहे हम बात कर रहे हैं श्री शिव प्रभाकर सिद्ध योगी जी की जिनका जन्म बारह में अकावूर मारा में हुआ था और महज 9 वर्ष की आयु से ही उन्होंने गुफाओं में ध्यान लगाना शुरू कर दिया और इतनी सिद्धि हासिल कर ली कि वे लोगों के भविष्य से लेकर वह क्या सोच रहे हैं सब बता देते थे और यहां तक कि कुछ लोगों का कहना है कि जब बाबा ध्यान लगाते थे तो वे हवा में उड़ने लगते थे अपने 723 साल के जीवन काल में उन्होंने अपने शरीर रूप को 17 बार बदला था उनके पास इतनी ज्यादा सिद्धियां थीं कि दक्षिण भारत के 18 सिद्ध योगी में गिने जाते थे 6 अप्रैल उन्नीस को उन्होंने केरल के पहाड़ों में समाधि ले ली सो यू कैन सी हाउ ओनली साधुज वे आर लिविंग लॉन्गर बिकॉज दे वर ऑप्टिमाइजिंग देर लाइफ So ultimately, as a scientist, we are coming to the same thing that we need to change our lifestyle right from the time we are born, from womb to tomb. Our life should be optimized. Thank you very much for your kind attention. If there are any questions, I will to answer. <clears throat> we are all happy, I think, showing our admiration. Doctor Chopra Sir, you have lived up to your glorious reputation. Standing ovation, standing ovation, yes. You, have, with all your knowledge, wisdom, and experience, you have transported us to a different world. of how to lead a healthy life so grateful to you now before ask questions i would like to request mr dingra is here mr dingra please come up mr dingra is a well known rotarian he has written a book hmm? yeah brilliant book of 250 pages and uh, he Please come up. He would like to present his book to you, Dr. Chopra. He does a lot of charity work. I forget what he wrote.
प्रधान मुख्य सचिव डॉक्टर ग्रेवाल श्री प्रताप Now I would like to share a conversation which I had with Honorable um, Sri Narendra Modi ji when he was Chief Minister of Gujarat, 83 March, just a few weeks before he became the Prime Minister. A conversation which was meant for only five minutes went on for 70 minutes. At his instance, anyhow, I asked him the last question. I said, Chief Minister's job is a full-time job. You are a man of perfection. You want everything to be done perfectly. Now you become the candidate of the opposition party, BJP, at that time, and you have to travel all over the country. And India is not just a country; it is more than a continent. Even if you travel non-stop, you can't cover the whole population. Where will you find the energy and the time to do both? The answer was a long conversation. A reply. Only what is required is, he said, Kathakanji, I get up at five o'clock in the morning. Ninety minutes of yoga, pranayama, meditation. Without that, I don't start the day. I've been doing it from younger days. I just don't know what fatigue is. This is just before he became prime minister. I've shared it in a number of places. Even before he became PM, I wrote also. Even now, you see the secret of his energy. Politics is different. See the amount of energy, non-stop travel, and every day so many programs, lectures on various subjects. India is not an easy country, you know, complicated. Managing all that, plus the world level. You know, with humble beginning, he himself says that you know, tea and all that we know, but he is able to. Confidently deal with the top leaders of the world on equal footing, and is today we are willing. People are willing to say he is the most popular leader. He is the level of energy, and when he said, "We are all trying to promote yoga from 2002 from uh, Lisbon, Portugal, to so make it uh, International Day of Yoga, June 21st." Nothing happened, but when he went and addressed the United Nations, the world accepted him because of the the strength of the man's intention. A practitioner, the whole world accepted it. You know, it is accepted all over the world as a gift of India to the whole world. So, what Dr. Chopra and most, I don't know how many of you have had the privilege of meet, meeting Dr. Deepak Chopra. We have had met him here also. And his books, his talks, his most well-attended talks around the world. People pay thousands of dollars to sit in the audience. Here you had a free gift of similar words of advice from Dr. Chopra. <laughs> so, so we are very, very uh, grateful, Dr. Chopra. I think few questions, few questions. So you, yeah. Yeah, starting with our. I'm Rutherian Arvinda Singh Brara, well known to Dr. Chopra, um, and also CMD of Mantech Consultants. My question is that uh, can BMI also be used as uh, as an indicator, uh, very very much by people to see that they are within the BMI limit of 25. <clears throat> that's one. Yeah. The second quick question is, I'm told that. Too much drinking, of course, is bad. But one drink, in many cases, <laughs> in many cases, help to prolong life. So, thank you. I think it's a very, Dr. very Chopra, important. I'll, what I'll request is, let's take two or three questions. You can answer them all together because Mission. there may be duplication. Okay, that's fine. I'm 91 years old now. And I want to enjoy life up to hundred years. So I do yoga. I do morning walk. I'm very particular about my diet. I want to know in, uh, uh, for yearly health checkup. Whether it should be yearly health checkup, or in two years, or in six months. So how many times I should have health checkup? <laughs> He can have it once in 50 years. 
Sir, forget who I am. My question is, you said something about poha as an undesirable eatable. I am doubtful about that. Please clarify. Hello, Hello everyone. Good, good evening. My question is that I have come across uh, some of my members, uh, and uh, including my daughter also, and who is diagnosed with PSVT. So is this any connection uh, with a stroke or heart attack in any way? And diagnosis what? PSVT. Dhananjay. Sir, I heard about PM Modi and his lifestyle and the strengths he imbibes in his personality. Can you, Dr. Chopra, predict until what age he will live? <laughs> what age? Glad, glad that. Dr. Chopra, this is Narinder Vadva. Yes, I have been. Hold on. Dr. Chopra, this is Narendra Vadwa. I have been uh, hearing you and I've met you a number of times, including in Mahavir Mandir GK1, we have met a few times. For the last 20 years, I've been seeing you, you look the same, except fall of little hair, that's all. <laughs> Number one. Number two, mantra yoga. Chanting of mantras, Sanskrit mantras loudly, helps a lot. Is it correct? OK, now. Uh, Sandeep. Sandeep, last question. Doctor, sir, seeing uh, heart attack symptoms, person may, may be or may not be having heart attack at that mo moment of time. If we give sorbitate to him or her, even if he, is, he may not be having heart attack, but he may be having heart attack symptoms, is it harmful to give sorbitate at that time? That is my question. I am Pandit from Kashmir, but I live in Greater Kalash now. I am a diabetic too from the last 33 years. I am not on insulin. I walk for 30 to 40 minutes in the morning every day. I control my diet. Little sugar, little uh, salt. I take fruit and nuts. Do you think I am doing all right? <laughs> How you want to be 150 years? I am 86 years old. 86. I think, uh, Dr. Chopra, you can sum up all the. Yes, that mic is working. That mic is. I like Grewal's mic. <laughs> I think uh, let me start let me start from the last one then we'll come to you the question of diabetes I think uh, this is very well known if you're labeled as diabetes type 2 and if you exercise daily your requirement of insulin and tablets will become zero one number two little bit of sugar little bit of this sometimes is okay but the white sugar is a real poison after the age of 60. We should not take it. There are a lot of harms. There are no benefits of it. Sometimes if you take, once in a while is fine. Good is really good. Jagged is good. Exercise is the best. Lot of data, huge data, that we can reverse diabetes by changing our metabolism. In fact, we had a conference just a few days ago when I spoke to Dr. Grewal from Kolkata. Anil was also there. And we launched a cardio kidney metabolic approach for every human being after the age of 40. If we optimize this, none of us will become diabetic. The second question, sorbitate. If you are normal, if you take sorbitate, so it's a very harmless drug. It just opens up the coronary arteries. The only precaution is never take sorbitate in a standing position. If we keep it under the tongue, you'll faint. 
because it opens up all the blood vessels. You have to lie down, half a tablet under the tongue. But that is not the first goal. First is to chew one tablet of aspirin, 350 milligrams, and take statin, 40 milligrams of a tolerable statin. This should be in the house all the time. Other drug is a blood thinner, which I told you, Brillanta or Tacagrilol. There we can give one person 90 milligram morning, 90 milligram evening. But if you take this, and if you're sure that you're sweating, choking, suffocation, it's a classical symptoms that you have a heart attack, which you should know. And I think always call a doctor. Like if Dr. Grewal is staying in your vicinity, just call him. He knows everything, where to go. So he can refer you immediately. He can talk to some doctor there. And it will be very easy. Time is the muscle. It is the time which is very, very important, three hours. If you get treatment in three hours, you will be able to salvage. My colleague from uh, Rotary Club, very good friend of mine, he asked two questions. One question is very commonly he asked, sometimes little bit of alcohol. So in my slide, I use the word low alcohol or no alcohol. So low alcohol means for you only, sir. So <laughs> sometimes, and the data says, if you take low alcohol, the prevalence of heart attack is a little less. Low means not more than a peg. But if you take higher degree of alcohol, it is detrimental. I've shown all the, our societies of education, it is detrimental. Your second question was? BMI. BMI. I think it's very clear. In the olden days, we used to consider BMI. BMI means it is the height upon the weight. And if it is more than 25 to 30, we call it a mild obesity. 30 to 35, moderate obesity. Beyond 35 is a morbid obesity. But these days, we take waist circumference, 80 centimeters and 90 centimeters. Forget about the BMI. We don't bother at all about BMI. All the machines coming up are also not BMI. It is the circumference which is very, very important, which you should know. Somebody asked me a question of PSVT. PSVT is the electrical abnormality of the heart. It is a pre-excitation syndrome where you're more prone to get palpitation. So that is different. One can see the doctor, what is the cause, should be investigated and treated. Dharanjay asked me a very good question. And his question, Dharanjay, I think you all know him, he's a very powerful journalist of Delhi and known all over India for his questions. And sometimes they are very difficult. And he asked me a difficult question. When you know that our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, is following all the laws of spirituality, he is a pure vegetarian, take plant-based diet, yoga every day, never get tired, drink water, no drinking, no smoking. How can you predict his age? I can give you an example, sir. The doctor who is looking after him is one Dr. Sharma from All India Institute. I asked this question to him. Kitna prime minister I am upper, itna president I am. Please tell me, is he having any problem? Well, he's the first person in India who has no disease. He never took his blood pressure. He never had a heart problem. No angioplasty, no stenting. This is a true statement from the doctor who is attached to Prime Minister's office, Paul Institute. He's a professor. So you can imagine that we feel so proud that our Prime Minister, first Prime Minister is healthy. Our previous Prime Ministers, I should not say anything, but more of them were unhealthy. They were on many drugs. I don't want to know them because I was in Parliament of NXC long ago, about 35 years ago, when Indra Gandhi was in power. So I used to see her prescriptions, I used to be shocked. You know, so what I mean is, this is the first Prime Minister. Another question was uh, Poha. Poha. I think uh, when I stay Poha, I don't say Poha is bad. I just say the staple diet in different states is different, which is deficient of omega-3 fatty acid. So in Poha also there is no omega. I don't say we should not take it. We also take sometimes. It's not bad. But the only thing is we should take omega-3 rich food so that we remain healthy and don't become victim to inflammation like blood vessels and the other problems. Anybody else question? It's LP SVD. It's LP SVD. Big, big pardon? Yeah, I think it's very, very important. I firmly believe in uh, mantra meditation. When I say chakra meditation, I meditate in all the chakras and there are special mantras for that. 
I recite those mantras for each energy zone four times. Like there are seven zones, so I recite them every day, morning and evening. And there is a huge data to support because it stabilizes the autonomic nervous system and make us more parasympathetic mode. And it's very, very good. There are various type of mantra meditation. Primordial sound meditation by Deepak Chopra is very well known to all of you. He was the first man to investigate this. Then we had uh, Gregorian chanting. Then we have Raj Yoga meditation, Vipassana meditation, all kind of meditation with open eyes or closed eyes or so many things are there. So mantra, as the name indicates, mantra means it's a Bijo mantra. And there are 108 mantras. It depends on the date, time, and place of your birth. When you become unmanifest to manifest. Mantras are purely, purely based on that. And then you recite on those mantras. They are very, very helpful. And there is a huge data. Huge. If you go through the Google, you'll find enormous data on this. And I think, uh, in fact, to be very frank, I should tell you today, very openly, I never knew about meditation. As a scientist, I never believed it. I thought it's all nonsense. But it's only Deepak Chopra who made us understand. Mm -hmm. And I went all the way to US to San Diego. His brother-in-law is here listening to me. I learned from him how to meditate. And initially we forgot. But see, where has he gone and where are we? Because he has not forgotten. So we have to continue. You'll be surprised to know recently he launched, I think it is 1410 billion dollars project on holistic health in the United States. Am I true? This was a very, very big achievement. That C alternative medicine, the real hero in the globe is an Indian. So we feel very proud. And I'm sure uh, dear also uh, addressed to this issue that we should go globally. We should show the world that our uh, culture is very marvelous, very powerful, should be practiced. And not allopathic medicines everywhere. Allopathic medicine is only required when there is a disease. But for wellness, we are number one in the world. Yeah, just a minute. Please. Yeah, if you have chest pain, it is a pain reliever drug. It is no mortality benefit or morbidity benefit. It's only to relieve your pain or if there is a spasm in the coronary arteries, it is helpful. But yeah, you should have a kit. You should always have a kit because if a pain is severe, unbearable, half tablet or sorbitate under the tongue in a sitting or lying position. And along with the floppy dog, sure, 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 sure. That's another question, sir. Now, my husband had atrial fibrillation uh, about 15 years back. So, sir, uh, how do we treat that? Because it's very difficult for us to prevent uh, any other uh, attack. Any, any patient who had atrial fibrillation should be thoroughly evaluated where we want to see their left atrial size, their left atrial volume, and their left atrial pressures. So once we know all that, we treat it by medication, and they do extremely well, there is no problem. You had mentioned he had this episode only 15 years ago. So the atrial fibrillation is of five types. One is paroxysmal, once it comes and goes. Second is episodic. Third is persistent. And fourth is it comes and remain forever. And the sixth one is resistant atrial fibrillation. Means it doesn't respond to anything. So all these patients, they have to go for what we call as a radio frequency ablation. I think it's purely a decision of a doctor to see it. Yes, yes sir. Sir, sir. Sir, sir.
सर स्टेटमेंट इज वेरी राइट यस कि ताली ताली बजाना बहुत अच्छी एक्सरसाइज है जैसे लाफ्टर है या ताली बजाना है ये भी एक एनर्जाइजर है यू इम्प्रूव एंड एनहानस द ब्लड फ्लो हमने लोधी गार्डन में मैं जाता हूँ मॉर्निंग वॉक पे तो एक क्लब है वो ताली बजाने वाला क्लब है और एक क्लब है जो लाफ्टर क्लब भी है इनसे हमारे अंदर काफ़ी एंडोफिन लिब्रेट होते हैं और जो नेगेटिव या जिट्री मॉलिकल्स होते हैं लेकिन एपिनेफ्रीन नॉर एपिनेफ्रीन उनकी क्वान्टिटी कम होती है तो मैं पूरा सहमत हूँ धनंजय साहब से कि ताली बजाना बहुत ज़रूरी है क्योंकि इट इम्प्रूव द सर्कुलेशन नाड़ियाँ खोल देती है वो जरूर करना चाहिए माई नेम इज अशोक मलिक आई एम नियरिंग एटी फोर सो आई वुड से ओल्ड टाइमर्स वी हैव नोन ऑलवेज कि लेट द लेट अस हियर फ्रॉम द हॉर्स इज माउथ सो सिंस यू मैंशन अबाउट ओमेगा थ्री एंड पोहा नॉट हैविंग दैट वुड यू बी काइंड टू टेल अस विच आर द गुड फूड फॉर ओमेगा थ्री थैंक यू सर वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन आई थिंक दिस इज ब्रिलियन क्वेश्चन अब यहाँ क्या है कि कुछ लोग वेजिटेरियन हैं कुछ लोग नॉन वेजिटेरियन हैं जो रिचेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ ओमेगा है वो है फिश सबसे ज़्यादा ओमेगा उसी में होता है और दूसरा एक वो नहीं नहीं दूसरा वेजिटेरियन भी आता है एक उसका पाउडर भी मिलता है व्हाट इज़ दॉन एज हिंदी फ्लैक्सीड फ्लैक्सीड अवेलेबल है मार्केट में वो फ्लैक्सीड के फॉर्म में अवेलेबल है पाउडर भी अवेलेबल है अलसी उसको आटे में डाल के जो आटा बनाते हैं या दाल में या सब्जी में डाल के आप ले सकते हैं लेकिन आजकल जो कैप्सूल मिलते हैं फ्लैक्स इसके ओमेगा थ्री के दे आर वेरी वेरी गुड क्वांटिटी इज इनफ नेचुरल कोई नुकसान नहीं आई टेक एवरी डे बट आई टेक दो कैप्सूल्स ईजी और हमारे घर में भी हम फ्लैक्सीड यूज़ करते हैं क्योंकि आई डोंट टेक फिश सो इट्स वेरी गुड These are the richest source. Yeah, Best is flaxseed and fish. Sir, sorry, sir. Sir. Sir, my personal question. I'm 80 years practicing law. Sir, uh, I underwent this uh, angioplasty a decade before. I'm regular, very ardent morning walker. Dr. Agarwal knows about it. One hour daily, four kilometers. But I have a problem. I'm a uh, vegetarian. the total north smoker i have a problem at 3 o'clock in the morning i sweat profusely the sweating sweating and sweating daily and i consulted cardiologist many a time they said nothing to got echo dravad thing they said nothing to worry what i am worrying daily daily i am worrying thank you ye jo pasina aapko aata hai sirf bonding mein aata hai kab se aata hai kab se aa raha hai kab se aa raha hai विंटर के सीज़न में थोड़ी सर्कुलेटर रिदम चेंज होती है इंसान की तो कई लोगों को पेल्पिटेशन होता है और रिदम चेंज होने से बायोकेमिस्ट्री भी चेंज होती है तो कोशिश करना चाहिए जब तकलीफ़ आपको होती है उस टाइम पे अपना ब्लड प्रेशर चेक करें अपना पल्स चेक करें अपना शुगर चेक करें और अगर उसके बावजूद भी पसीना आ रहा है तो आपको ई सी कराना चाहिए क्योंकि स्मॉल वेसल डिजीज़ होती है हमारी बॉडी में कई बार उसको डायग्नोज करने के लिए हमारा बहुत तरीक़े हैं हम एक्को करते हैं किसी पेशेंट का होल्टर लगाते हैं उस टाइम कि उस टाइम क्या एग्जैक्टली होता है ये इवेंट है ये पसीना नॉर्मल नहीं है कुछ ना कुछ होता है सिस्टम में इसकी जानकारी पूरी करनी चाहिए जी प्रणाम मैं कुलीना हूँ और महिला अधिकार अभियान पत्रिका निकालती हूँ मेरा म, मतलब मेरी समस्या ये है कि मुझे हाई बी रहती है लेकिन मैंने गौर किया है कि तब रहती है जब मैं तेल मसाले वाली चीज़ खा लेती हूँ तो बस मैं ऐसा कुछ जानना चाहती हूँ कि जो चाहे खा भी लू लेकिन तब भी ठीक रहो उसके संदर्भ में कुछ उपचार वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन बट आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल सम पीपल आर सॉल्ट सेंसिटिव अगर आप नमक खाएंगे तो ब्लड प्रेशर बढ़ जाएगा ये सॉल्ट सेंसिटिविटी होती है तो आपकी जो हमको लगता है बात करने से कि सॉल्ट सेंसिटिविटी ज़्यादा है खाने के लिए मालिक ने बहुत चीज़ें बनाई हैं ऐसी क्या बात है सिर्फ नमक के खाना है बाकी चीजें खाई बाकी एवरीथिंग इज ऑल राइट यूल बी ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक द बेस्ट थिंग इज टू टेक आयोडाइज सॉल्ट 
iodized salt, black salt or rock salt is not good. It is very rich in sodium. You should take a normal salt, which is iodized, good for you. But the maximum quantity you can take is 3.5 to 4.5 grams, not beyond that. If you take beyond that, you are definitely bound to become hypertensive. There is a lot of association of sodium-rich diet and hypertension and even heart failure, what we call as. So limited salt. Don't take pickle, achar, papad every time or uh, tomato, so tomato chips, tomato sauce and chips. It's been namak ki matra bhoot hoti. So kam se kam khayen ho utna better hai aapke. Sab chip mein namak hai. Sabzi mein namak hai, vegetables mein namak hai, fruit mein namak hai, sab mein namak hai. We don't need extra salt. We never put extra salt. It's not required. Good evening. Uh, uh, actually, yes, we have come across a lot for the last few years. Many sportsmen have died uh, on the spot when they have the stroke. Or some, somebody, uh, you, might you have been uh, where you have received uh, some uh, WhatsApp videos where many people outside the gym or inside the gym got strokes and died immediately. So my question is, now the like in the fashion for the new generation is key for the going to gym in the evening shift or night shift. So is it advisable to go in the evening or night shift or second is a disturbance of night uh, sleep pattern or short of sleep can also resort to strokes? Very good point because we see a lot of patients who die suddenly in gyms. Gyms may if you do weight lifting, it is like an isometric exercise that increases your blood pressure. And if you go in winter season, and that too, if you're tired, it's not a good medicine. then your sympathetic activity is very, very high. Pulse will become very fast and you'll get a VT suddenly, a vertical fibrillation and die. So the best thing is in winter season, avoid going for too early morning. Number two, avoid excessive exercise. Moderation is the key. Jitna kam exercise karenge, moderate karenge, utna better hai. I want to tell you today one thing. If you walk more than 20 or 30 minutes a day, morning walk, it is not going to help you more. Some people have a wrong notion. A ganta exercise karenge, to lamba yoga mein. No, it's a wrong notion. 30 minutes is more than enough. Similarly, vigorous exercise. I've seen in gyms, they do vigorous exercise. Sometimes they do a lot of maneuvers, which is not good. Even the diet which they take, sometimes it contains hormone they advise. So that should not be done. There is a paper which was published in our uh, CSI, gym, practice of gym exercises and heart attack. Premature heart attacks are very, very common in gyms because of unaccustomed exercise, excessive exercise. There is no protocol. According to me, all the people who go to gyms, they should have a medical checkup about their fitness. Because I've seen in marathon, Today only I had somebody came, Mr. Tiwari, from uh, we are going to do a marathon. I had a young patient, 32 year old, Mr. Garg, brought in dead while participating in the marathon. 32 year old. Jindai mein kabhi challa nahi, kabhi exercise nahi kari, aur marathon practice kar rahe hain. So that becomes unaccustomed exercise. So according to me, anybody going to gym or marathon should have a thorough evaluation as to what their status is. Thorough evaluation, cardiac evaluation. What is what, should what, it be done or should it not be done? Fortified food. Fortified food. Yeah, I think it, uh, United States, everywhere, they do, for example, like milk, they fortify with vitamin D. So fortification in the standard qualities, if they do it, there's nothing wrong in that. Salt is fortified but, with iodine. Yeah, so they do practice. it. It's not, if, so we should know, should we take a fortified vitamin D or not? If you're deficient, yes, it will help you. Okay. But if you're already overestimation over, uh, of vitamin D in your system, then you're not required to take it. I think go with, with the doctor's advice. Dr. Chopra, with... Dr. with Dr. Chopra, people having, uh, who had a severe COVID uh, during COVID time, are they more prone to heart attacks or...? 
I think the fundamental should be very clear that the COVID virus is a pro-thrombotic, pro-inflammatory, and pro-immunogenic. Can I say that this virus is our capillaries, it causes endothelitis. But it is in that particular phase. If you have a COVID and you are doing regular exercise, you don't have to worry about it. There was a lot of vaccine controversy. So in our book, we have a chapter from a very top scientist from Holland Institute. We have published a whole study that there is also a potential for the vaccine in the clot formation. But if we look at the benefit, then it is 98%. Two percent risk of thrombus is there. So we have to see that if we have got a vaccination, we have to drink water and keep going and keep going, then we will not be clotting. Sir, I want to say something. Please. Sir, I think I think, ma'am, please. Appreciation, please, sir. So, thank you, Dr. Chopra. It is huge honor to be here, and uh, I have never attended any doctor's uh, conference or event ever. But I'd like to support what you have just shared with all of us, because I myself had hemifacial spasm 16 years ago, and I was on 23 pills a day. I was paralytic, I had short-term memory loss, I could not open my mouth, and I had insomnia, plus many other diseases. By the grace of God, I was, after eight years of the suffering, I was introduced to meditation. And the neurosurgeon who started to attend me, he said, ma'am, surgery is always an option. But you know, I have seen that you have started to do some meditation somewhere. And we can start to reduce your medication. Sir, I have been doing that for almost 15 years. And it's been nine years I'm not on medication because of the quantum science. The DNA, the cells, the RNA in my body, the molecules, every part of my cell and my muscles, my brain has transformed from positive and in negative information to positive information, right? And that information that my soul, my mind, my heart was carrying, my mind started to process the positive information, producing the positive DNA, RNA. And then it transformed the energy that I was carrying. And finally, the matter is that I did not have to undergo a brain surgery. I'm off medication for nine years. I'm absolutely healthy. My memory is back. And moreover, I never got paralytic attacks ever. I did not only get healed, but I became a certified healer. Very good. Very nice. It is because of the quantum science that Sir is talking about that we should really get together medication and meditation together. It is complement to each other. And similarly, a lot of stories happened over these years with my grandmother, my mother, who had almost lost their pulse and heartbeat. It came back only because of what Sir is sharing. So please, please follow what Sir is saying. It really helps us. Thank you. We are rushed of time because the next session has to start. I think, first of all, he, what he said, clapping was good. Let's, he deserves a big hand from all of us. <laughs> we are short of time, but, but still we would acknowledge the presence of some members here who are not members of Age Care India, but have come to grace this evening. We have uh, the counselor from Palestine, Basin Helix, sir, here. Thank you for joining us. Dr. M.S. Yadav, Dhananjay, Mr. Surinder Singh, who is young at 89, Mr. M.M. Gupta from Siddharth Extension, Mr. Okar Chadda, our dear, dear, dear veteran, Dr. I.P.S. Kalra, Mr. Sudhir Katoch, Dr. Usha Baveja and Dr. Usha Mehta, sir, they've been my teachers. Mr. Rajesh Malhotra, Mr. Ranjit Singh Sahani and Dr. Devan Tuli. We wanted to actually honor or acknowledge their presence by giving them certain 
small gift, but, but due to paucity of time, we'll hurry up and only honor our uh, honorable speaker. So I request our Vice President and President Dr. Karthiken to please present a token of appreciation. Thank you, everybody, and please join us for a quick cup of tea and a sandwich. Thank you, Dr. Chopra. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Coming at midday is not a comfortable thing, but we thought this is the best way of doing it during the winter. And I must compliment uh, our General Secretary, Dr. Grewal. He has taken the initiative, worked very hard to have a good audience here. Thank you very much. Please join a cup of tea. Thank you. Care India, our foundation for peace, harmony, and good governance. I would say this program was organized because the increasing number of uh, heart attacks and uh, strokes, even younger people are getting it suddenly. So we organized this program today. The eminent Dr. Vikram Chopra, he explained why it happens and how it can be prevented and all that. Many precautions like a non-fat vegetarian diet, yoga, meditation, avoiding smoking, drinking, need for regular exercise, and stress-free life. There's only way you can prevent by such diseases. Very good, thank you. Uh, today, HKR has organized a great session about the healthy heart and healthy living stay younger by Dr. H.K. Chopra. Uh, Karthikenji is our president and he is a famous uh, for his services and activities. He is Padam Shri also and he he has chaired the session today. So Dr. Chopra ne aaj jo baat shuru kari speciality se happiness or health ke par baat kari which is very good and rare in sometimes doctors. Jo medical doctors hai unhone apne Bhagavad Gita ke aur India jo India ke speciality hai India will be the Vishwa Guru uh, by having the healthy life. So everybody is impressed with Dr. Chopra's uh, session और उनका जो सेशन लगा पूरा पिक्टोरियल था पूरा पीपीटी के अंदर था और उन्होंने सिंपल लैंग्वेज में सबको जोड़ा बाद में काफी सारे क्वेश्चन आंसर के जवाब भी दिए और हमारे सेक्रेटरी डॉक्टर ग्रेवाल और हमारी टीम सबने संदीप जी और अग्रवाल साहब सब जुड़े हुए थे तो इसको एक काफी अच्छा प्रोग्राम रहा इंटरेक्टिव सेशन रहा हेल्दी लर्निंग के लिए रहा तो इस तरह के कार्यक्रम मेरे ख्याल होते रहेंगे दिस गिव्स यू आपको नई लाइफ और नई आशा और नई सोच देता है